everyone welcome back to aurora's vlog thank you for watching again and thank you for visiting please don't forget to subscribe and like today i was reviewing this unicorn brushes as you can see they are already been used i was also reviewing the eyeshadow palette at the same time and this is eds color fashion both of these products are from amazon.com when i find something nice and something worth buying for i'd like to share that to my friends and my followers and my youtube viewers these are not a sponsored products hey guys welcome to aurora's vlog today i'm gonna be reviewing these seven brushes there are unicorn brushes these are actually unbranded name but i got this from amazon.com they are very cheap i also have another a new brand eyeshadow palette that i'm gonna be using with this brushes i got this both last week and i just have the time to be using it today so let us open this what this it is eyeshadow palette looks like they are beautiful well i'm gonna be using a lot of pink a purple blue gold with this brush so before we begin, let me introduce to you each one of these brushes. Let's begin with big brush. The big one, I believe this is for powder. They are very soft. These are, by the way, synthetics. They're so soft. I would say that this is for powder brushes, and that's what I'm going to be using it to set all my makeup. So the next one is a little bit shorter, but they are denser. We're going to use this for uh, foundation cream. Oops. And the nice thing about this, they don't look cheap to me. They are not light, they are not heavy, they are so fancy looking. For the second brush, let's use this for foundation. And we have two almost identical but not quite. This one is a little bit rounder and this one is a little bit flatter. So I would say this, the flatter one is good for contouring. And so this, the rounder one is for highlighting. And we have these three smaller brushes. Uh, it looks like pencil brush or blender brush. I believe we could use that for to pack on eyeshadows on your eyelid. And the last one, it looks like we have an angle brush. We can use this as our eyebrow brush. So let's begin. For foundation, I'd like to use uh, mix these two. They are both L'Oreal. The other one is Lumi and the other one is Infallible because this one is very dry and this is a little bit dewy. They are very good mixed together. So let's use the foundation brush. Let me just dab dab this into my skin before we brush it off. And let's spray the brush with setting spray. It's actually very very good. It feels so soft and it blends the foundation very well. It does the job. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Edge Rewind. I'm using an airspun translucent loose powder to set this concealer. Now let's use the contour brush and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Contour Toffee. Oh wow, very good. Very nice brush. Let's go ahead and contour the nose. And I'm gonna be using the same brush. And let's just use a tiny bit because this powder is very pigmented. So I have to be very careful how much I put in. Wow. I love this brush. Now let's go back to the powder brush and let's brush off all the extra loose powder. I love the feel of this brush. So apparently I was doing my eyebrows, but I forgot to record it. I thought it was recording. So anyways, let's begin. With the eyebrows, I'm gonna be using Anastasia Beverly Hills in ebony colors, and I'm gonna be using the, the angled brush. And since the this pomade is a little bit darker, I'm just gonna be like, use a little bit of the product, otherwise it's too dark. The nice thing about this Anastasia, it could last all day long. My second favorite after the Wonder Brow. Wonder Brow is wonderful. But if you uh, do not have Wonder Brow, this is my second choice and they do last all day. So here's the exciting part. Let's begin with the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using this color, kind of like orange, as a transition color. So with that, I'm gonna be using this blender brush that came with the whole set. So let's see how this will work. Oh, 
Oh wow, it's very pigmented. It's a little bit difficult because when you do a transition color, you're supposed to be using the blender brush, but since the, the whole set did not come with a blender brush, it's kind of hard. But we can make it. I'm going to be using this pink at the third outer corner of my eye. And for the third inner of my eye, I'm going to be using this shade. Now let's blend this in and let's use the pencil brush. I'm going to be using this cream color to highlight my brow bone. I'm going to be using LA Colors Loose Powder in Sunshine. Whoa! I grabbed too much. Did you see that? That's beautiful. Next, I'm going to be applying a purple color of the same product. And for the middle eyelid, I'm going to be using the same product, the same brand LA Colors, and it is Grape Jelly. Holy cow! <laughs> wow, love it! Now, let's move on with pink color named Lollipop. This is so beautiful, you guys! Now, let's blend this in. For eye liquid liner, I'm going to be using liner blue color. With the angle brush, I'm going to be seeding that blue eyeliner, liquid eyeliner with this blue color. For my lower eyeliner, I'm going to be using black pencil from LA Colors. And I'm going to add 07 light. I'm going to be using the lighter color shade. Let's take this off. And let's brush this off. Just a little bit of fallout. Just a little bit. I, I'm so surprised. Let's move on to bronzing. I am using a still other bronze goddess. Let's use the contour brush. So we are done. Wow. Let's take this off. So anyways, this is not sponsored product guys I just got this myself because I need some beautiful sets of brushes I saw this on amazon.com and I just like click buy because it was only $11.98 for seven pieces as you can see this looks so nice they look so fancy they don't look cheap at all and they're so soft you can get this uh, amazon.com I'm gonna Write down the link below. I also got this from Amazon.com, the ADS. Now, again, this is not sponsored. I just like to share products that are very affordable. I thought I'm gonna be disappointed with this eyeshadow palette because, you know, a lot of the stuff that you can buy cheap, they are really cheap because when you apply them, they're like, oh, it's not pigmented enough. And then you have to apply and nothing happens. The brush really picks up a lot of product. I'm going to be writing the product down below. If you like this review, don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know what you think of the whole review and I hope you like it. Thank you for watching Aurora's vlog. Bye!